Breaking news, the Charlotte County Sheriff is explaining what led up to two deputies shooting an unarmed man in his own driveway. Thank you for watching the Night Beat. I'm Emma Heaton. And I'm Russ McCaskey. Wink News has been pushing for answers, and tonight we're getting them. The Sheriff, Bill Promel, just spoke about what led up to the tensions escalating on this rural property in Charlotte County. Shots rang out just after noon on Sandy Pine Drive, which intersects with Washington Loop Road. The Night Beats' Maddie Heron joins us now live near that scene. Maddie, you just spoke to the sheriff. What did he tell you? Yeah, the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office confirmed that its deputies shot and killed a man in his driveway just before 1 p.m. today. Now, Sheriff Br Bill Prumel, like you said, was here on Sandy Pine Drive, giving us a little bit more insight as to what happened. He said that that man had charged at his deputies before they took the shot. Take a listen. Earlier today, uh, we responded to a residence here on Sandy Pine in reference to a disturbance between two males, uh, an Elroy Clark and a Troy Johnson. Clark had reportedly called police because he wanted Johnson off his property. The deputies get, got here and they spoke to both parties and it was determined to be a civil matter at that point. But during this time, deputies found that Elroy Clark had an outstanding warrant. And when they at, told him that he was under arrest and asked them to place his hands behind his back, he refused to do so. Sheriff Prumel said he started resisting. The deputies tried to speak with him several times, tried to de-escalate the situation. Pepper spray was used a couple times. They tried to use the baton, hands-on. Nothing phased this individual. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anything like it. Three deputies went hands-on with him at one point when he was laying down on the ground and he threw them off of him like they were rag dolls. Uh, so nothing was working. And shortly after he was shot with the beanbag rounds, he charged one of the deputies uh, and he actually got his hands on the deputy. The deputy had drawn his weapon and fired. Uh, so two deputies did fire their firearms in this. Um, and unfortunately, Mr. Clark did succumb to his wounds. Sheriff, are you aware of a video that appears to show this incident on social media? Yes, the one individual who was on scene was, uh, I believe, FaceTiming somebody at the time it was going on, and she had put it on social media. Do you think that shows an accurate depiction of what went down in, in this incident? It doesn't show everything that went down. It shows a piece that went down just toward the end, and it's very shaky, so you really can't see everything that's going on. And what is this video that you're mentioning that you would like to show? Is well, the video, cam? yes, we have all the body-worn cameras, and we have our dash cams that show everything that happened. Mm -hmm. So as soon as we have a chance to go through everything and we complete our what we need to do here at the scene, we're going to try and get that video out to you guys as quickly as we can. With only eight to nine hours into this investigation, the sheriff said there is still a lot more investigating to do. He said that one of his deputies that was attacked did suffer a head injury. Meanwhile, the other two deputies that did fire the fatal shots into this man, they are currently on administrative leave. And as for that other gentleman that was involved, he is still in custody tonight. Live on the Night Beat, Maddie Heron, Wink News.